We've had a couple of um, Facebook chat exchanges, Tim and I. One, one was about that, actually, wasn't it? That Tom Watson thing. I put a, a Tom Watson song on and he liked it. He was the only one who did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which is fine, isn't it? Um, and we had a, a different kind of exchange because Tim had just let loose a bit of a political tirade and I can't help but join in when that stuff happens. <laughs> I can't help it. It's, uh, it's in my nature. So I just thought I'll try this. I haven't sung this for a very long time. This was about, the, the weather made me think of it as much as anything else. This was about um, a disaster that happened in the 1960s, 1966 World Cup year. Actually I say World Cup year because that was the only World Cup, wasn't it, as we all know. Um, and there was, a, there was a disaster in a village in Wales to do with weather like this. Um, a slag heap slid down the side of a, of a mountain at a place called, I'm trying to read it, and it was near Merth and Chidville and it was out of a fan. And it hit a school and it killed 116 children between the ages of 7 and 11 who had just walked out of assembly. Um, and it was interesting because at the time it was a disaster waiting to happen. It was one of those natural disasters that the water had loosened the, the slag, which was the remnants of a mining industry <coughs> for people under 30 and mine or someone who used to be a public servant who <laughs> went down and dug up coal for the rest of us and then got vilified in the 80s a bit like public servants are being now in a different context but they were that's what they were um, and the national coal board at the time that were the nationalized industry that ran the pits and blamed it on natural conditions and all that in fact there were underground streams that they put the slag tip on and they didn't particularly own up to that and they had to use some of the disaster money that was raised by people. You can imagine the outpouring of, of grief and, and so on that went around it. I was 14 in 1966, I'm 16 now, and that affected me and I didn't really get what was happening. You'd sort of do, but just the people's mood and stuff affected you, like it does when there's a, a disaster. And when you're young you don't quite get it, you just sense it. And you sense that something really bad has happened here. Um, and a guy called Leon Rosselson wrote the song, he saw it slightly differently from the way the National Cold, Cold Board saw it. Um, so it just has a bit more of the lines. I'll see if I can do this, it's a long time, apologies. You shouldn't do this, should you? Apologies before I start if I fuck it up, but I will say, in the middle, I will, I will say drat or something like that if it goes wrong. If it goes wrong. The sons of company directors and judges' private daughters had to go to school in a slum school, dumped by some joker in a dark back alley, had to herd into classrooms cramped with worry, with a view onto slag heaps and stagnant pools. To file through corridors grey with age and play in a crackpot concrete cage. Buttons would be pressed, rules would be broken, and strings would be pulled, and magic would spoken. Palaces of gold. If prime ministers and advertising executives, royal personages and bank managers' wives had to live out their lives in dank rooms. Blinded by smoke and the foul air of sewers Rot on the walls and rats in the cellars In rows of dumb houses like mouldering tombs Had to bring up their children and watch them grow In a wasteland of dead streets where nothing Buttons would be pressed, rules would be broken, strings would be pulled, and magic would spoken, invisible fingers would mold, 
palaces of gold. Well, I'm not suggesting there's any kind of a plot. Everyone knows there's not. But you unborn generations might like to be warned that if you don't want to be buried alive by slag heaps, pitfalls and damp walls and rat traps and dead streets, arrange to be democratically born. The son of a company director or a judge's fine private daughter. Buttons will be pressed. Boots will be broken. And strings will be pulled. And magic words spoken. Invisible fingers will mold. Says it going.